legislature has now passed the halfway point of the 60-day session, and we've already seen the cutoffs and deadlines for the committees. Tell us about the significance of these deadlines. So these deadlines really keep us on track here in the legislature, hopefully keep us on track to be out of here within the 60-day time limit that we have allotted for ourselves. What has just recently passed was the fiscal cutoff. Before that was the policy cutoff. And bills that were introduced into the state house by that time had to have passed out of committee by those cutoff dates and to the rules committee to be ready for floor action. So those rules are in place to keep us on track and to, to keep the bills moving along and the whole process moving along. Five of the six bills that you introduced this year have survived those cutoffs. So let's briefly talk about each of them. First, let's start with the driver training curriculum, House Bill 2266. Right, so House Bill 2266 is kind of a fixed bill from the Omnibus Driver's Ed Training Bill that I had last year. Basically what this bill does is make a small tweak to the language of the current statute regarding driver's ed curriculum for the private sector driver training schools. So it's a little fix just to give them some certainty in the type of curriculum they're able to provide. The next one is House Bill 2287, a diversion center to treat opioid drug addiction. Right, so House Bill 2287, I'm really excited to talk about that bill. That's my highest priority for this legislative session. It'll create a pilot program in Snohomish County where Snohomish County has a facility ready to act as short-term housing stabilization center where people who are suffering from addiction and homelessness are able to be housed temporarily, get stabilized so they can move on to treatment centers. So this is a great bill. That bill was pulled from rules over this past lunch hour, and I hope to have that on the floor later on this evening. House Bill 2374, evidence in law enforcement property rooms. So that bill actually passed off the House floor today. That's a great bill that was brought to me by a fellow Snohomish County Sheriff's Office employee who works in the evidence rooms, and it'll allow property that's held in the evidence room unclaimed for a certain amount of time to be eligible to be donated to museums. So that's a good bill. House Bill 2458, abbreviated death certificates. So there's another bill that's ready to come to the House floor. It's through the rules process and ready to go. And that bill will remove certain features and information to create a short form death certificate. And that'll keep that information off of the death certificate and make it so it's not so easy to commit identity theft against those folks. And finally, House Bill 2509, mandatory reporting of abuse. Right, so the mandatory reporting bill, I'm waiting for that one to come to the floor. And this is another good, responsible public safety bill that will create an infraction for those people who are mandatory reporters of crimes against children, and it creates an infraction if they knowingly fail to make that mandatory report. So that's a good public safety bill. Citizens want to learn more about these bills, support these bills, or just get involved or find out other information. How do they go about doing I that? I really encourage people to go to the legislative website. From the legislative website, they're able to track certain bills, find information under the bill information tab, and they can also find your legislator to get to my email and my personal contact information and contact my legislative assistant, Kendra, at our desk to pass on their viewpoints.